Today's video is a jelly plate tutorial on making a Mother's Day card. We're going to be working with some flowers and some new stencils. Let's get started. Okay, I've got my five by seven jelly plate here. Some rice paper to roll off extra paint from my brayers. Got three brayers, so my paint, I can not smush paint together. I've got some flowers, some tools to pattern my heart shapes. I've got this great new set of stencils that I'm playing with that has been co-created. Craft Making Ideas and I have collaborated on putting this together. This sheet of hearts, which is also great for the 8x10 plate. And these hearts, the shapes that are cut out, this love word, and this key. We're calling it key to my heart. So let's see what we can get done for some beautiful Mother's Day cards. I'm gonna use a little bit of teal. Oh, and I forgot to say that here today, it's currently 72 degrees and 28% humidity. And you can contrast that or compare that with the conditions in your studio to compare the results that you get. That was Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. Okay, we did leave some paint on the plate there, so let's pick that up too. This is quinacridone magenta and some titanium white, golden fluid. I do list all the pigments I use and usually in the order that I use them in the information below the video. All right. Well, that's fun. That's super interesting. All right, so let's see. What I wanna do is pattern the area where the heart's gonna be and leave the place where the word's gonna be plain so that we can read it, okay? And you gotta put your word down backwards. So I think I wanna do titanium white and a little bit of bright iridescent gold and a tiny bit of quinacridone nickel azle gold. Let's spray that out, okay. All right, and let's use these beautiful, I've loved these, but they're getting to the end of their life. They're starting to droop and so on, so I will have them memorialized in a card, right? And then um, also my fun new little jewel tool. Okay, let's see what we got here. Need to let that sit for a minute more. Grab my barren. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Well, I'm not totally impressed with those flowers. That's really sort of vague there. But that's okay. Let's just keep going and see how our, our heart turns out. So let's come back with quinacridone magenta and some of this permanent blue violet. Oh, that's way too much. I know that. Way too much. Mm. All right. So now we'll put our heart down up here. And our love word here. And I know I'm gonna wanna press really carefully around that love word to get all the little indentations there. It looks pretty good. Okay, well, I'm not thrilled with that heart, but of course, the other thing to do is to use, you know, some other prints that you have and cut a heart out. I've done that quite a bit myself. So let's pick this up. Interesting. I'm going to actually go with bright green. Whoops. 
Lost a little bit of it down here. Okay. Well, I actually prefer that one. Okay, so let's try uh, going from light to dark, starting very, very light with titanium white, some dialeride yellow, some primary yellow, and brayer that out. And get a base print here. pretty looks so springy all right so let's try the flowers for the top part of the heart we'll go mid-tone I'm gonna try copper and um well this is really bizarre copper and ultramarine violet no idea okay so again I'm gonna do patterning for the heart up here and leave where I want to put my love word open so I can read it. Let's see, maybe we'll skip the flowers this time and just go with Lego, some glass, and my friend the jewel, which is already going to need to be cleaned off. And by cleaning off, I mean I'm going to put it, soak it in a little bit of rubbing alcohol and then um, scrub it with a toothbrush. Okay, well that's pretty fun. So now we can do a strong contrast over that. Uh, let's see, actually one of my favorite combos, phthalo turquoise and teal with just a smidge of the Dilusions Crush Gray. Oh God, is that gorgeous or what? Wow. And we'll put our heart down here. And our love word, which is going to be backwards. And we will press this down. Do I want to do anything else on there? I might. Let's see. Nope, changed my mind. Be really careful around the word so that all the details show for the word. Okay, well, I'm happy with that. All right, and uh, we have the potential. There's nothing there. I was gonna say to pick that up. We'll just obscure that. Okay, let's do a green one now. I wanna do like a limey, really spring green. Need a little white in that. That's our base. That's what I could have done is use those little hearts around and try that on this one. Okay, oh boy. I love that color, right? Oh, yes. All right, now I'm gonna do something a little bit weird, which is to put a very deep dark on here to get these impressions. Using phthalo turquoise and some quinacridone magenta because together these two actually make almost a black. <laughs> That is my timer going off in the background, which is gonna be super distracting, but I cannot walk away right now. Use these, see if I can do a better job. That might have been too much because I can't really see. Yeah, that's better. Okay, now I know. Don't press it down so hard. Okay, that looks good. This one's obviously much better than this one. I just pressed it down lightly for that. All right, let's uh, bring this out the rest of the way. I think I want a sort of a pink on top of that. All right, so let's set our heart down there. Gee, that's pretty right there, huh? And our love word backwards. And um, I was thinking I could use some of these hearts over this, but I really don't want to save that. So we'll just go in with this and see what we can capture here. God, I want, now I want to try those flowers again and get it a better print. All right. Okay, that's my favorite one so far. 
wow. Okay, so let's try and duplicate this with a little different color scheme and see if I can't just get one more really good print of that flower. I'm going to start with a sort of a peachy color, so naphthol red light of the golden fluid acrylic, hyaluride yellow, one little drop of primary yellow, and titanium white. All right, so a little peachy, and then over that, let's do a really deep color. So we're going to go quinacridone burnt orange, a little bit of permanent violet dark, and just a pinch of, I know that sounds crazy, Van Dyke brown. I don't think that's enough paint, and it's lifting off the plate. I need more. Sometimes when the colors are super transparent, they just disappear. Actually, this time I'm going to take a little carbon black, just a drop. Okay, that's looking good. Now this time, let's go with... Okay, that looks good. That looks good. There's a little pollen on that one. We'll go with our... Jewel friend, some different glass, and then I have to decide if I want the love word to be dark or light. We'll let it be dark. Okay, that's a good print there. Really cool. All right, so now let's make it into our heart. I'm going to go with sort of a blue green. We're going to do a little green gold, a little phthalo turquoise, and some white. Well, that's nice. Our trusty heart and our love word backwards. That might be a little low. All right, let's see what we get. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. All right. Love that one. Okay. So uh, from there, it's a short walk to... Uh, we'll just spray this up. It's a short walk to getting it into... Turning it into your card. Um... You probably do want to make sure you're working on a uh, surface that is not <laughs> covered with paint. For now, I'm just going to lay down a paper towel. And to turn it into your Mother's Day card, trim it down. Since we're adhering it to a 5x7 Strathmore um, deckled edge card with envelope, I need to trim it down to about 45 x 65 Okay, trim down. Is it dry? If you have any white spots that you don't like, I am finding that instead of covering the whole surface, you can do a lot with this Tombow marker set. I'm looking up here at this little bit of white at the top, and I just want to fill it in. It could be green, it could be blue, and that way it won't look white. And any other white skips that are bothering you is really handy. So there it is, and we will get our ATG tape, or if you have, if you just want to use um, glue, I like this because it's the fastest, and I do it all the way around, and X. Do it all the way around and an X through the middle. Then get your card here, set it on there. And you have a fabulous, one-of-a-kind Mother's Day card to send, or you can send it to someone else. These are the ones we've made. We made this one and this one. 
And then for the two that um, were a little less than, like for this one, I found this in my stack of prints. And I mean, I cut it out of a print that I had. And also this one, because this heart was less than stellar. So um, another great way to use up your leftover jelly prints. And I uh, didn't even begin to do half the fun stuff we can do with this uh, set of stencils. Didn't use the key. We'll do that next time. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning how to make these fun Mother's Day cards today. This is Vicki Reed with Paint by Heart, and I'll see you next time.